Hi everybody, I am here today with a little project for hashtag shimmery art and I'm working on a 5x7 canvas. Pulled out some pretty pretty K and Company die cuts uh, that has all kinds of flowers and butterflies and dragonflies and things in it. To start with I'm going to attach a couple of doilies to my canvas using matte gel medium. Uh, honestly, I don't know why I did this in hindsight because you can't hardly even see them on the finished canvas, but oh well, I never know what I'm going for when I start, so that's okay. And while those are drying, I'm going to add some shimmer, since the whole idea is it's shimmery art, um, to my die cuts using the Silks Acrylic Glazes. Uh, these are gorgeous glazes with loaded with shine and shimmer, so I thought they would be perfect to uh, paint over these. Of course, I thought I could use more shimmer, so I added some mica powder to the purple one. <laughs> really wasn't necessary but I thought what the heck I never know what to do with those mica powders anyway so I'm working with a couple different colors a, a, a purple and a kind of a lilac pinkish lilac and that very first petal I painted was just too dark and you'll see how I go back and try to fix that because all I could see when I looked at the iris now was that petal See that shine? Isn't that gorgeous? And then my little dragonfly, he has similar colors, so I'm going to bling him up as well. And I'm just playing off the colors that were already on the die cuts and working with the silks that I had. So a little blue, a little pink, a little purple, and then I'm going to pull out the green and work on the leaves as well. I love this color. I think it's, I think it's called Pretty Peridot or something like that. Um, it's, it is pretty. They weren't lying when they named it. Again, just trying to get some shimmer on all of these die cuts. They were beautiful to start with, but uh, you know me. I like shine and sparkle and shimmer, so... Since that's what we're going for, I'm just going all out. And this is a little bit of gold, adding a little bit of details and some highlights. Okay, now back to the canvas. And I'm working with a crafter stencil, sorry, crafter's workshop, the crafter's workshop. There we go, TCW <laughs> stencil and some light modeling paste just to give some more texture to the background. You can kind of see that. It's always hard to see white on white stuff. All right, more shimmer. I'm pulling out my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. Well, one is a baseboard spray, which doesn't have mica in it, this first one. Uh, but I, I wanted the color more. And I'm just randomly going to use some purple, some gold, some greens, just to add some color to that background. Sprays are just, I just love working with sprays. They're a wonderful, fast, easy way to get some color down. Shine if you've got shine in them. Uh, you can also paint with them right out of the bottle too. Okay, here I'm adding just some white. I thought it needed some white accents, so I'm adding some uh, with my favorite bubble stencil. And I'm also paying attention to the edges. Uh, I don't intend to put this in a frame. I want it to just be a standalone piece. So I want those edges to blend in and be pretty too, of course. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe some white highlights here. So I'm just barely going across where that texture is from that modeling paste, just with some of that white paint on my fingers, just so the high spots will grab that paint. And hey, there's some green left over here. Let's use it too. <laughs> and of course, the obligatory paint splatters. I'm trying a different technique. If you guys watch my videos, you know I usually use my little baby toothbrush. 
This time I decided to use this floppy cheap brush and it worked all right. Adding a little um, silver shine to that die cut piece. And gonna give a little edging around here with some archival ink in violet and leaf green. Just to basically give it a frame. Now there are also some um, die cuts in this package of stuff that I had from Kane Company that are acetate. And they're actually blue on one side and I think that's the side that was intended to be used. But it really didn't go, it was kind of a, I don't know, kind of a turquoisey, and it didn't go. It just didn't go. Trust me, okay? <laughs> so I flipped it over and I'm letting the silver side show up and I'm using some super gloss heavy gel. I probably should have used glossy accents like Peg told me to use on them and it might have been a little less muddy looking, but that's okay. Ah, it's just paint and paper, remember folks? So attaching my pretty iris. And then I am going to use the glossy accents to attach that little kind of lattice work floral piece uh, because of the detail on it. Uh, I knew I would just make a big old colossal mess out of it if I tried to brush stuff on the back of it. So since that glossy accents bottle has the nice fine tip applicator, that's what I'm going to use to attach it. So if you're looking for more pretty shimmery art, just use that hashtag, hashtag shimmery art, to search social media and you'll find all kinds of pretty, pretty stuff out there that you can look at. Adding some, um, I hate these pop dot things. They're like clear jelly junk and I, they're so hard to get apart. But I wanted that dragonfly up just a little bit off the page, so that's what I used. way this turned out beautiful colors in my in my humble opinion and uh, lots of shine and shimmer so here's the still shots thank you so much for coming by today I hope you enjoyed this little project if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll be glad to get back to you have a fabulous day guys and I'll see you next time <music>